It's time to actually update my iPad, but every time I do, I get an error. Well, how do I fix that? Let's find out together. All right, it is time to update my iPad, but before I do, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, as well as hit the bell for notifications. That way you can see these as they're actually posted. Now, as we get started here, there's a couple of things. I've actually had this iPad for a good year and a half, two years, and when I do so, what I actually end up finding out is it doesn't update the way that I expect it to. So right now you can see on my iPad that under the general settings here, it tells me that there's a software update available and it's now checking for the updates and I've previously gone ahead and tried to download the update, but it didn't actually end up working the way that I wanted to. But right now, what it says is, hey, you can install this now. Now, when I did that, I went ahead and connected into my computer and it did download it. But even after that, I hit install. And now it's verifying the update. And then it's gonna ask me if I want to actually be able to do something. And it's gonna say, oh no, unable to verify the update. So it's telling me that, hey, look, it failed because I'm no longer connected to the internet. Well, you can see in the upper right-hand corner, I am actually connected out there, but it's not gonna allow me to do anything right now. So what is our standard procedure? Well, now we'll go over to my MacBook and we'll see that on the MacBook here that I'm actually going to update my iPhone, iPad, iTouch, whatever device it might be. It says you can update it wirelessly. That's exactly what we just tried. It didn't end up working out customization. Oh, here's something I may not have tried before. And it says, update your device using your computer. And it's just as simple as actually connecting your MacBook or your Mac OS, whichever uh, computer that you end up having, directly to the iPad. So I have a short uh, cable for us, and then I'm gonna connect it to the iPad. Now, when you run the updates, you wanna make sure that you're also gonna be connected with power as well. Make sure I can do that. So I'm now gonna connect this to my MacBook. And in a moment, it should end up showing up as one of the devices. And let me see if I can zoom in here. And there is my iPad showing up. So if I now select that, I can see what's actually available to me and that there is software and it says, hey, I can update this. There's a newer version available. Currently I'm on 14.4.2. And it says that new version available is 14.6. To update it, go ahead and update and uh, click. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that for us, or at least I think I am. It says, hey, it's gonna update this. I'm going to update. And now the process will begin to happen as it actually begins to update. Now it's asking me to go ahead and enter in the passcode uh, that I normally have to get access in. And now that I've done that, I'm gonna click OK. And there's the process. It's going ahead and it's extracting software. Because like I said, I previously tried this and it didn't end up working so that we could show you what's gonna be happening here. Now, during this process, what is eventually gonna happen is it's gonna fail again, okay? So it's one of those frustrating things that uh, you actually do see a lot of different forum posts on it all over the internet. And it's very obscure to actually find any real help on this. I've gone to the Apple forums and it's like, well, you know, you just have to do this. Just follow this guide, the one that I just showed you, and everything should end up working out here. So once that actually ends up happening, it's going to back everything up so that you don't lose anything on your iPad. And uh, what should also end up happening here, of course, is that it's going to eventually error out, like I said, and we're going to get this update code of uh, update uh, error 4000 or something like that. All right, after it tried backing up, well, now we're getting this code, which is the one that I said that you'll probably find all over the internet here, where it says an unknown error occurred, 4,000. Well, that's as frustrating as it gets because it's not really anything that's helpful to you, but at the same time, it is something that we have to overcome if we want to update our iPad. So in this sense, now the iPad has disappeared from my laptop, which is perfectly fine. Now we need to go back to the iPad to fix the issue. All right, so over on the iPad, what we need to do is actually a couple of different things. So depending on some of the different things that you look up, it's as simple as actually turning a couple of things off. So I'm gonna do that uh, procedure here, and we're simply gonna hit the display settings for right now. Notice that there is this auto lock feature that we see towards the bottom edge of the screen. And that means that, hey, after a while, this thing's gonna auto lock in 10 minutes. 
Now remember that an update may take longer than 10 minutes and then it's gonna lock itself out. That may be something you want to temporarily disable, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and disable that auto lock feature from happening. Now, even if I've done this and I try and run it again, I'm gonna find out something that's not the issue with this particular update. So, but that is one of the things that you do want to make sure that you check. The other feature is gonna deal with the passcode here, okay? Now, when we start seeing this idea of the passcode, this of course is the code that allows us to be able to get access in. And this is the other feature that we want to be able to turn off. Now it says, hey, I wanna turn this off. And now it's gonna ask me for my uh, Apple ID password. All right, so I've now entered in my Apple ID password. And now it's gonna say, hey, type in that password, uh, passcode again to turn off the feature. All right, now that we've got that set, I'm going to unplug the cable and then plug it back in so it gets recognized by my MacBook again. So now let's go back over to the MacBook and we'll see if this feature now works. So now that we've got everything set, I'm gonna find my iPad again. And now I'm gonna select update and it should run through the process. Now, the good thing is this is actually gonna be a lot faster because it had previously gone ahead and downloaded the update for us. If not, it may take a few minutes longer to do everything that it needs to. So remember that before you do any of these updates, make sure that if it's not actually backing up uh, when it starts, make sure you go ahead and run a backup. And you can now see currently that the Mac is actually being prepared once again. It's extracting the software and at the end of this, that should also mean, of course, that the iPad itself will go ahead and begin the update process and take a few minutes to do whatever it also needs to do. It also has to reboot. And after that, we'll be able to verify that everything is actually working here, okay? So we'll actually use the magic, of course, of the internet to actually help us speed up the process. All right, it looks like everything is done. And we can see right here, it says your iPad has been updated, restarting. And it did actually take several minutes for us to get everything done. So I would actually allocate probably a half an hour, but I think it's between 15 to 20 minutes here. And it says everything will actually, uh, it will appear on the sidebar after it restarts, okay. Let's verify, there it is, the iPad is actually there. And accordingly, what we see right here is, it is at 14.6 now, before it was at 14.42. So it actually even gives me uh, you know, the, the idea there. Let's go and check over on the iPad and verify that everything's actually working. So as we go over to the iPad, I'm simply gonna get into settings. And now we see that the software update is no longer has a red mark that's telling me that everything is actually going to be there. Uh, let's see, oh, I probably need to go into, uh, let's go to about here. And there it is under software version. We are now at the 14618F72, uh, and that shows us that everything's actually updated. So if you've ever had that issue, make sure you check out those two settings inside your iPad, and that should help you to ensure that your iPad will get updated properly. Thank you for watching.